guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all really well. So I filmed another makeup tutorial for you guys today. I think this is probably one of my favourite ones that I filmed so far as it's super easy and I think it's just such a lovely glam look so I really hope that you guys enjoy watching. So to start off with I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in medium brown. I thought I'd film my eyebrows today because a lot of you were asking to actually see it so here we go. So I start by just literally following the natural line of my eyebrow and just outlining it um, as I don't want to make it too like heavy or kind of like don't want to make them look like caterpillars so I'm quite light with how I do this. Then I'm just going through my brows and filling in where the hair is a little bit more sparse and using the other end of the brush to kind of brush out the product so it, you don't end up with any like really strong lines or anything like that. Then I'm using my Eyelow Brow Enhancer. This is just to kind of create the illusion that my brows are a little bit fuller than they actually are. It also adds a really nice colour. And then finishing it all off with my Eyelow Brow Gel um, as I don't really put that brow enhancer on the front of my brows so this is a great way to kind of get them looking on point. Um, then I'm just finishing them off with a bit of concealer underneath with this Spectrum Cosmetics brush. Um, this is just an angled brush that's perfect to go along the bottom of your eyebrows. Then I'm just blending that in with a mini beauty blender. So moving on to eyes, I'm just prepping my eyes with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and just a large fluffy brush here. Then I'm setting that all with my Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette which is my favourite as you guys probably guess because I use it all the time and that colour is the Coconut Creme colour. Then I'm just kind of lightly defining my crease here with the Nougat colour from the same palette. I don't want any heavy kind of eyeshadow with this look but I just quite like to define my crease with all my makeup looks. Then I'm using an angled liner brush from Sephora and my Maybelline gel liner which is my all time favourite liner. I'm just going to create the wing. So for this you basically want to line it up with the bottom of your eyelashes and follow it up towards your um, eyebrow as if they were going to meet and you should have the perfect line to create your wing. Then you just create a triangle kind of going back on yourself, so down towards the lash line and it really is as simple as that. It's super easy if you get one of these angled liner brushes, you really can't go wrong. Um, but I think the tip, the tip is basically a good brush and a good product to line your eyes with and really it's not too bad. I mean I know it's hard but it honestly like just try this out, I feel like you guys might find it quite easy. And then I'm just filling in the rest of my liner. Um, and following my lash line, trying to stay close-ish because I don't want a heavy, heavy liner line. Then I'm just using some more concealer on that same brush just to clean up the edges of it and make it extra sharp. And then I'm just using this felt tip liner pen just to kind of fill in any gaps that maybe I've missed or just will make it look a little bit crisper. Then I'm just applying my mascara, just so it sets before I put my eyelashes on. And I'm just lightly, really lightly putting on a bit of um, eyeliner here, just because I don't want liner on the bottom as such, but I kind of wanted to define it a little bit. And then I'm using this amazing Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics pigment in Whirl. It is amazing. So I'm using my Max Fix Plus here to make it extra shiny and bright and all that jazz. Um, and it's just such a beautiful colour, so I highly recommend getting this one. Then I'm applying a really light layer of mascara to the bottom of my lashes. And using my duo eyelash glue on my lashes and my actual lid as always to make sure that my eyelashes are super secure. And I'm using these Eldora ones in M102. These are my all time favourite ones. And as you can see using the glue on the lid as well just helps them to go on so easily and they stick straight away. So it's definitely a tip for you guys if you're new to eyelashes. And there we go, that is the finished eye look. Then we're moving on to face, and of course I'm using my Benefit Professional Primer. Then we're using a different foundation today, which I must say is very odd. Um, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in number 105. I bought this when I was in America. If you've seen my New York haul, you will have known that. Um, so I don't know if they do that exact shade here, but you can get it online, or they do do 
the, that brand of foundation in the UK, but it might just be different numbers and shades and all that. But it's an amazing foundation. I'm really impressed with it and it lasts all day and I love the matte finish. So I'm just using a mini beauty blender to go around the edges that are slightly difficult like to reach with a big beauty blender. Then moving on to concealer, I'm using my NARS Creamy Concealer in Custard here. And just to really brighten that all up for my highlight, I'm using my Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay. This one is brilliant for highlighting, I can't recommend it enough. And then, as always, blending it all in with my Damp Beauty Blender. Then, using the mini one again, just to go around and make sure it's all seamless and blended nicely. And moving on to contour, I'm using my LA Beautiful Bronze Concealer, as always, and my Real Techniques Contour Brush. Then I'm just blending it in with the bottom of my beauty blender. This red one is amazing by the way, if you can get your hands on a red one I would highly recommend it. I don't know why, it's just extra amazing. <laughs> and using the actual product to contour down my nose. I'm blending that in with my finger before using a mini beauty blender. So I'm using that exact same concealer, that Naked Skin one by Urban Decay for the highlight of my nose and my mini beauty blender. And that is the face makeup done. Then I'm just setting all of that with my NARS Light Reflecting Powder, which is the one I use all the time. And if you haven't got it yet, then you need to go out and get it because it's amazing. Then I'm moving on to highlight, and of course I'm using my Topshop Glow Pot. First of all, just applying it with my finger. This is honestly like, it's nine pounds I think, and you all just need it. It's just the best highlighting product in the world. And then I'm just going over that with my Becca Cosmetics um, Jaclyn Hill highlighter here. It's oh, such a nice highlighter this, I'm literally loving it. And just applying that to the tip of my nose as well. And we're using my MAC Give Me Some bronzer here with my MAC, um, what's the number of that, 135 brush, which I can't find online. I'm trying to link it for you guys below, but I can't find it. I'll try my best, but it's 135 if you're wondering what brush it is. Then I'm just applying a bit more of that Topshop Glow Pot to my brow bone just to really kind of brighten up the face as I want a really glowy skin look. And just adding a bit more of that pigment as I lost a little bit when I was putting my foundation on, so just want to make sure it's extra shiny. And there we go. So as you can see, this look would look amazing with a nude lip, but I decided that I would go for a red one for this, just to make it all pop. Um, but obviously if you're not a red lip person, then as I say, nude would look so fab, but I'm trying to stay away from nude because I feel like I do it too often. So I'm just using a Barry M lip pencil here, it's just their red one. I love Barry M lip pencils, they're so cheap and they are so good. So don't feel like you need to go out and buy a MAC one or spend loads on a lip pencil because the Barry M ones are just as good. And then I'm using this Rimmel, um, I think it's 100 Kisses or something, um, long wear lipstick, I'll link it below for you guys. It's such an amazing red colour and it lasts all day and you don't get any like dodgy lines around your lips and all that kind of stuff. Then to really make it pop, I'm just popping some MAC Lady Danger over the top, as this is just such a bright red. So that is the finished makeup look. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed watching and attempted to recreate it yourself, because it honestly is so easy. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all very soon in my next one.